of their YouTube. Vic Bricks here with uh, himself for a brand new video. And celebrating LEGO's anniversary, I'm going to talk about something more special. The side of LEGO that's the most important, that I find has led to the most abilities with it. And that one thing is stop motion. Now, stop motion with LEGOs has been around for quite some time. Ever since the 1970s, people have been making videos. But I'm not going back there. I am going to the early 2000s. Yep, 2006 to 2010, the, which I would like to call the old age of YouTube. That was back when I would watch my favorite YouTube videos, and all of them were Lego. So to pay homage to them, I am going to be counting down some of the videos that I used to watch as a kid. So, let's get right to it. So first of all, I'd like to start with Mickey Doodles and Mickey D's Episode 1. Now, I'm classifying these in the same spot because, well, it would be repetitive to talk about them separately and just rename the title. So let's go. Mickey Doodles, I'll talk about that one first. I loved it. It may not be the best thing looking at back at it, but heck, it didn't even have any stop motion. But I loved it. It was so interesting, fascinating to watch. And yet, I remember I couldn't under barely understand any of the dialogue being spoken because it was so, I, it was so, well, I couldn't understand it at all. I see Buke. I Buke around the I just want to be dead. Thirteener. <laughs> but I really enjoyed it anyway. So it was one of my favorite videos to watch. I remember I'd watch it every single day. And I really loved it. So now Mickey D's, episode 1, that was one that I found very interesting. To me, that episode was like a sitcom because it contained different parts with some aspects of humor in it. Welcome McDonald. I like purple. Um, th that's very nice. What would you like to order? Do you like purple? Actually, I prefer navy blue, but I guess it's okay. I went to the purple convention. Did you go to the purple convention? No, I did not attend the purple convention. I don't even know what that is. Now please order. Purple is a wonderful color. Sir, if you don't order right now in the next two minutes, I'm going to have to remove purple from the world. I'll have a number five with a large drink. And yes, I remember even then I, I couldn't wait for episode two to come out, but sadly it never did. Yet I still feel like the entire thing was complete, even though it only had one episode. So, yes. So next up, I'm going to talk about Star Wars. The saga begins. A long, long time ago. In a galaxy far now this, for those who don't know, was a Lego video posted in 2006 about a like, music video of Star Wars. Now, I've never actually been quite a fan of Star Wars. I don't really even collect it that much and haven't really watched any of the movies. But still, I love this video. It was great. I loved listening to the music and watching the animation, even though it was quite choppy. But for some reason, I was so attached to it, and I couldn't stop listening to it. But it was something I never realized, even as a kid, that it was ripping off American Pie, which I never even knew of. And I, even to this day, I have no idea where the, uh, the people who made this video found the song. But yes, I still enjoy it. Next up, I'm going to be talking one of the most important things that I find is still on YouTube. And that thing is Lego Spongebob. I find that that is important because it is what led me to make most of my Spongebob videos. But I love them so much because of how simple they were. And yes, these videos go from Spongebob vs. The Vending Machine to Squidward's Bad Day and Spongebob in Space. Those were three videos that I loved because I saw that even that how you people could make Spongebob. So what I saw was two of my favorite things combined into one. Spongebob and Legos. So I really enjoyed it. But the best part was that I loved how simple it was. How simple it looked. So that anyone could make those videos. And yes, 
Even to these days, I pay tribute to those videos and I still enjoy watching them. So yeah, it had that kind of effect on me. And that's something I'll never forget. Moving on, I'd like to talk about another Spongebob video, which is fun with Spongebob. And I'm gonna pair it up with another video, which was Lego Lego Vending Machine. Which is made by a channel, I think it's called Lego Ultra 321 But yes, that was those were videos that I remember I'd watch, and I loved them. But yet, the reason why I'm pairing them up together is because I can't really find anything special about them other than that they were memorable, because I used to watch them a lot. So yes... I still do love them to this day, even though it's not the best thing. But, hey, they were alright. Another thing that I like to talk about is Lego Pizza Delivery from Michael Hickox. This is what started my love for Lego. Well, it was the most, like, com not the most complicated video that I saw, but the one that has the m most passion, the most humor, the most elements I've ever seen Lego Story have in. Other than Lego Kish Kishin's Black Ops video, hey, but that's a video for another day. What I loved about this one was the aspect of humor, and that's even to this day, Michael Hickox is mm, continuing making these Lego pizza deliveries, and that's what got me into his channel, and I love him. But if you haven't seen Michael Hickox, I really recommend you watch one of his videos because they're super well done. And yes. I'm going to talk about a video that was really influential to me, one that I really loved, that I couldn't stop watching no matter what, that <clears throat> was a combination of everything, horror, humor, <laughs> and most importantly, stop motion. And that one thing was Lego Timo J Jet Twins Zombie Outbreaks, sorry if I said your name wrong, but anyway, this was something that I loved. I couldn't stop watching it, as in most of your videos, but no, this one, I was so, so attached to it. I couldn't stop watching it, but I, even to this day, I have no idea why. It was just that concept, that concept that he, he originally brought into the LEGO series. I know he isn't the first one who posted LEGO Zombie Infection video, but it w was the greatest one at that time, I know. I'm, today on YouTube, if you search it up, you'd see there are a lot of suggestions for that one topic. But he, I'm pretty, he's one of the first people who ever did it, which made it one of the most special. You know, he even inspired me to make my own LEGO Zombie Infection video later on, yet that one's not posted on my channel. But anyway, it's a pretty nice detail. So. One last one I'm going to talk about, one that I wa this was probably the first video I ever watched, and it's the one that I remember watching. So, here it is. And that one video being Michael Jackson Thriller in Lego. That video was great. It might have been old, but I loved it. But so one thing that I'll always remember is how much it creeped me out as a kid. But I'm not sure what exactly it was, the combination of Lego and clay, it added this, like, disturbing feel to the video. Something that I cannot explain. And also the fact that the camera he used was extremely blurry, and how hard it was to see. That, that added this really creepy and, un like, this uncanny feel to it, which made it all the better to watch. So that's the video that I praise the most, the one that got me into LEGO, and without, but, I'm not gonna give this one the only credit, all of these videos got me into LEGO, and I wouldn't be anywhere without them. But, there are more videos that I watched, but hey, that's probably gonna be a topic for another day. I just wanted to look back on this topic because I noticed, nobody was really paying an homage to these videos, despite them basically starting the LEGO stop motion industry for YouTube, and I thought that someone finally needed to step up and talk about them. So, this video will be known sort of as an homage to them, and I would like to thank all of them, even though most of them don't really post videos anymore, thank you. So, I guess that'll conclude this video, and remember... Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And next time, both of us will be making a video.
what just happened? Darkness falls across the land. The midnight hour is close at hand. Ah. Creatures crawl in search of blood. Oh. To terrorize your neighborhood. Ah, ha, ha. 